What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 2.38 letter C of Griffith's 4th edition. So this is the last item for problem 2.38, and the problem reads, A metal sphere of radius R, carrying charge Q, is surrounded by a thick concentric metal shells, inner radius A, outer radius B, as shown in the figure. The shell carries no net charge. So let us see, now that the outer surface is touched to a grounding wire which drains off the charge and lowers the potential to zero, which is same as infinity. How do your answers in letter A and letter B change? Okay, so as a brief recall, we know that this radius, uh, this metal sphere of radius R will carry now carries a charge at the surface, positive charge Q. And this induces a negative charge at the inner radius of your shell. Okay? And uh, earlier, the, this causes the positive charge to be accumulated at the outer surface. Now, it's mentioned in letter C that the outer surface is now touched by a grounding wire. So that means, okay, this accumulation of charges will now exit or will now be drained off the, uh, the shell. Okay, so this effectively uh, uh, makes the outer shell, outer shell to be at zero potential. Okay, and there is now no net charge accumulated at the surface. So this is, just an, this is an example of a uh, charging process by grounding with a combination of induction. Okay, now, for letter A, we know that the radius, uh, the uh, surface charge density at R is equal to Q over 4 pi R squared and then sigma or the surface charge density at A is Q over 4 pi A squared negative and the surface charge at B would be Q over 4 pi B squared. Now because of the of the grounding of the surface of the outer surface of the shell okay the shell at the outer surface will now have zero potential therefore there will be zero uh, charge so therefore this will approach uh, this will become zero okay or sigma b becomes zero Okay, now for letter B, we want to calculate the potential uh, between infinity to the center. Okay, so as a result, the electric field will now change. Okay, the electric field inside the sphere would still be zero. The electric field between the sphere and the shell would still be the same because the charges here did not change. Okay, however, at the at the region between A and B, you notice that if this is your Gaussian surface, okay, the enclosed charge would now still be zero, as well as if you have points outside the shell, because the enclosed charge, even here, would still be zero. 
Okay? So, the, the change that happened in letter B would be this part. So, we can now combine this as E, where R is greater than A, is 0. So, therefore, the corresponding potential at the center, which is negative in, uh, integral from negative uh, from infinity to 0 of E dot DL, will now have 3 regions. So that means the four regions that we considered in letter B is now reduced effectively into two re into three regions. Regions from infinity to A where the electric field is zero DL or DR minus integral of uh, Q over 4 pi epsilon naught dr over r squared integrated from a to r minus integral of integral of the electric field which is 0 dr from r to 0 so as usual we can see very clearly that this and this is 0 so therefore, this potential will now be equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon naught times 1 over R evaluated from A to R, which is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon naught times 1 over R minus 1 over A. Okay, so that means if we're going to compare this to our previous results, wherein the potential is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon naught times 1 over B plus 1 over R minus 1 over A. Okay, so you will notice that this term is 0. Why? Because the contribution of this region, okay, will now be the same as the contribution of this region. Of this region. Okay, so effectively, essentially, uh, there is no, uh, the, the, the outer shell will not contribute any additional potential at all because of the grounding. As you will notice here, the potential is zero. Okay, so that's it. That's the solution to problem 2.38 letter C. I hope you learned something today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.